the Lions get an unexpected victory. And I know you're thinking, victory? It's the middle of the week. What are you talking about? Well, here it is. The Jets fire Robert Sala. And how does that have to do with the Lions? Well, he was somebody that the Lions interviewed in 2021. We all wanted him. He was a stud defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers. And it's like, that's what we need. That's what we need. A guy that's just going to be set the culture. And instead, we end up with Dan Campbell. Thanks to Chris Spielman. Remember, Chris Spielman saw this, wanted it. And by the way, we're going to get into a couple really big stories here with Christian Mahogany coming back. But uh, remember, we settle for this guy that was never a head coach. He was like an interim coach with the Dolphins six years ago and Dan Campbell. And Robert Sala is kind of the guy we wanted just because he was a Dearborn native. And so he was hired in that 2021 um, coaching cycle along with Dan Campbell. And now it's only Nick Sirianni and Dan Campbell that are left from that 2021. Nick Sirianni, he's on the hot seat. Philly's kind of weird. What are they? The only guy, the only franchise from that 2021 hiring cycle that's rock solid and accelerating and doing great things is the Detroit Lions. And Dan Campbell has set the culture. He's got coordinators. We've got players. Everything's up. And this is... This is not, if you would have said, hey, go back and say, hey, who is going to be firing their coach midseason out of these 2021 hires? It's like probably the Lions. I don't know. We've never, you know, it's like, no, we're actually opposite. So seeing this and seeing how, man, he was a 2021 hire, boom, he's gone. Nick Sirianni, weird. Press conferences are weird. He's not good with his quarterback. They should be better. They're not doing well. He's going to be gone. Dan Campbell is the guy and here's what's crazy about it is dan campbell um is now 27 27 and 1 with detroit despite starting 4 and 19 he's delivered the team's first division title in 30 years two playoff wins which is double the number of franchise double the number the franchise had in the previous 60 years so let's go We've got something here, and, and again, it goes back to Chris Spielman. Remember, Chris Spielman said that when he was a broadcaster, he would interview coaches, see programs, see, see franchises, and he's like, man, I get the X's and O's. I, I get that, but you've got to be able to build a culture and build a team, and he really pushed for Dan Campbell. So, again, Sheila gets Chris Spielman, which is genius. The guy knows football, been around football, and then Chris Spielman – identifies Dan Campbell of all people. Dan Campbell comes in. He's kind of, he's mocked. He's, that press conference is crazy. He starts off that first year was terrible. It's a mixture of COVID and don't have a good players and we're injured and we don't have anybody. And it's like, oh my gosh, next year starts off rough. And then from then on, it's been nothing but big wins at Kansas City, at Green Bay, division titles, starting off three and one this year. It's incredible. So absolutely love it. Love to see that good news for the Lions midweek. I know someone else's coach is getting fired is good news. Yes, it is. Um, okay. If you look forward now to what the Lions are doing, one huge thing that we've forgotten about is Christian Mahogany, who is rookie offensive lineman, who has come back and, and here's what Dan Campbell had to say. And we'll see if we can pull this up is um, mahogany is very close. He's very close to have that conversation of when do we start his clock? Remember you get a ramp up period. And once you start it, then they've got to either play or you got to do something with them. They can't just be in and out. They got to start practicing. And then they go to the active roster or the practice squad because mahogany was on the NFI. Um, Non-football injury list, he was required to miss the Lions' first four games. But now that enough time has passed it's and he's in football shape, it's time to start practicing. Mm, this is big because we know about the injuries and the injury history to, with Frank Ragnow. We also know that Graham Glasgow, if Frank goes out, then he switches over. Now we've got a guard spot open. The guard play was good with Ragnow out, but it wasn't deep. Now it'd be nice to have Mahogany back there as well. So remember, he had mono and was held out for um, 
for training camp, everything. He hasn't he hasn't been here since since he was with the team. I mean, so it's like, all right, that's gonna take a minute to get him going. But it's nice to see that. I mean, you, you do think, man, shoot, it's been a month. It's been six weeks. It's been it's been longer than that. So he will be good to go at some point, and that's just that's huge. Dan Campbell also said this week that um, he is absolutely still fueled up and and motivated by the Cowboys' loss last year. Now, as we turn our attention to the lo- or to the Cowboys, love this matchup. I I hate that it's in Dallas. Um, you know, it's always just going to be weird. But Dallas can't run the ball or stop the run. Um, we. Whoa, we can run the ball and we can stop the run. So I, I think we're in great shape. So Dan Campbell said that uh, he said, I've got controlled fury, fury. I'm absolutely ready to go. I don't go the other way. And so our team won't either. We're on a mission. We're not going to feel sorry for ourselves and wallow in everything. We had plays to make. We didn't make them. It's a tight game, good opponent, playoff type atmosphere. You got to make one extra play. We didn't. We'll use it as fuel. Pure octane right now. Um, that was that was last year. Remember that when he was just like, that was the type of. And, and by the way, and I didn't make that clear when I started reading this. This was from last year when he said this. It was like, oh, let's go. This is this is our coach. This is what we're talking about, right? Bad play goes against them. Lions are in a playoff hunt. They're also in the division hunt. They're in seeding, and you're just like, there goes that huge game. And he's like, no, nah, pure octane. <laughs> like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So Dan Campbell said, I'm excited for this one. Let's go. And so one of Dan Campbell's superpowers is his ability to motivate, so it should come no surprise. He's going to tap into his residual frustration from that game to get the best out of his team this week. He's always looking for extra ways to stir up extra inspiration. 100%. So I was talking about earlier, right? Dan Campbell, the X's and O's side, I think he's way smarter than people think. It's clear, right? Um, as you watch him and and you see the offense, you see the creativity. I mean, you look at the look at the Jets. I mean, they have no creativity offensively, but I think his X's and O's are w- way underrated. And then I also think his job is to be a team builder, to be a guy that never wavers when things go south. And you've seen it. The whole first year and a half he was here, it was nothing but south. And he's just like, eh. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Next thing you know, it breaks wide open. The lines are on fire. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, if, you, if you've been watching for a while and you haven't hit that subscribe button, man, just hit it. Just hit it. And let me know your thoughts, and we'll see all of you on the next one.